What's up guys? Welcome back to Dame Untamed. My name is Nikki and this is my travel channel. Today's video is very Canadian. I'm gonna be taking you through six of my absolute favorite places to hike in Alberta, Canada in and around the Banff, Canmore, and Kananaskis regions. All of these hikes are truly spectacular in my opinion. Also, don't forget to let me know down in the comments below where are your favorite hiking spots in Alberta? Have you done these hikes? Do you have other hikes that you think I should try? Feeling a little nostalgic lately. Haven't been able to do any big epic adventurous hikes in the last little while. So I thought I would make a video showcasing some of my favorites. Going my way, cause that would be boring. Spend my last cent on cheese and champagne. What a wonderful morning! Never mind, she declined to the first day. It was only on my birthday. Never mind all the lines on the highway. Give me time to reflect a bit. Finding the trail to the hidden cave at Johnson Canyon is actually quite a bit easier than most people think. The trail is located between the lower and the upper falls. Once you've reached the sign that says the upper falls are 925 meters away, you're going to look for a dirt path on the right hand side of the trail just before the green railing. Once you've got to that point, you're going to scramble down a little bit, but you will eventually see the cave and the giant rock, which is totally worth checking out. However, I do need to note that Parks Canada has actually closed this secret trail. Do to a sensitive species of bird in the area. So it's probably best to avoid this trail until it reopens as it's important to respect the local wildlife. Much as I loved the Mount Indefatigable hike, unfortunately this is also a decommissioned trail. Now I did not properly do my research beforehand, I didn't realize that this area was prime habitat for grizzly bears and if I had known this prior I probably would not have done this hike, however it was beautiful so I thought I would share some of the pictures that I took. There are other hikes that you can do instead of this one that have similar views so I would recommend you check those ones out first.
So I just wanted to share a quick story about this trail. So I made it around Rawson Lake to the base of the ridge, took a few minutes to have a drink of water, and then up I went. I made it about three quarters of the way up, about 30 minutes of steep, steep incline, only to reach for my GoPro and realize that I had left it at the freaking base of the ridge on a rock. I flew back down the ridge and luckily it was sitting right where I left it. Now I had to decide whether I wanted to go all the way back up or call it a day. What do you think I did? We did end up getting lost on this hike, but who doesn't love a good scenic detour once in a while? I hope you found some of those hikes helpful. I hope they inspired you to get out there and try them at some point if you're ever in Alberta, Canada and are looking for a challenge. I believe Devil's Thumb was the most challenging of them all and the views were pretty spectacular of both Lake Agnes and Lake Louise. Just a little disclaimer here, make sure you're prepared to attempt them. Some of those hikes are not easy. There are lots of areas of scramble, some high cliffs, some little sketchy bits. So just make sure that you have proper boots, bring hiking poles if you need them, lots of water, snacks. That will make your hiking experience that much better. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out if you're enjoying my videos. See you guys next time.